Bend Film Festival coming to town this week. We thought we'd take a look at some of the best films to see. And of course, we had to go to the source in town, Thank Bill you. Bussey. You, you've seen all the films. I've not seen all the films. Well, a lot of them. <laughs> I've seen a lot of them. I, uh, we read over. Well, thank you for having me. Sure, yeah. Uh, we read over the the brief synopsis of them, and some of the ones about oh, sex after having kids didn't appeal to me so much. Uh, it didn't. The octanarians, it might pornography. To me. I don't know. Didn't sound <laughs> exciting. But we chose about two dozen films. Yeah, and today, uh, Bending Steel. And today, Bending Steel. Yeah. Uh, one of my two favorite. Really. Of the whole collection, it's it's this wonderful documentary. It's out of New York. Uh, two of the cameramen for the John Stewart show do what is surprisingly a really touching, sweet underdog story. Uh, one of the directors was doing his laundry in the basement of his apartment in Queens and heard this weird noise, went around the corner, and there's this guy bending horseshoes, bending nails. The actual guy who did the film uh, saw the, this. Saw this, right. And, and, and his neighbor was this guy who wanted to be uh, at Coney Island and to be a strong man. I mean, and it's a creepy thing. You're doing your laundry and you come <laughs> around the corner and there's a guy when bending I... horseshoes. Oh, right. um, it turns out uh, the main character, Chris, is just this very lonely uh, but sweet and determined man. And it just made for such a great film. And the, the filmmakers, their notes say that they did it for $50,000. It is such a professional, such a gripping film. There's fantastic animation in it. Uh, there's history of the strongman. Uh, and then there's this character at the center of it who, you know, has sort of his midlife crisis and finds a purpose in being a carny. <laughs> That's exactly what it is. All right, let's take a look at Bending Steel. I've lived in New York for all my life, but I don't feel like I belong here. There has always been a part of me that has felt extraterrestrial. The way he uh, handles himself, he's a very personal person. He is himself and uh, he doesn't share it too much. I don't have a whole lot of relationships with other people. This is perhaps the largest struggle of my life. Right now, there's a hook in me, and I don't know if it's real or if it's psychological, that is not giving me enough leeway to get out there, and I can't chop through the chain to get away from it. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Chris Shett. I'm a strong man. I want to assure you that what I'm doing is not magic. Have you ever failed in front of a group of people? No. I've got one of my students with me. Let's hear it for Chris. Come on, Chris. I see a fence. I wonder if I'll be able to bend one of the bars. I see gorillas in a cage. I wonder if I could bend it. I see handcuffs. I wonder if I could break them. Got me all excited. We gotta, we gotta see some. We gotta see some. Unbelievable. It's bent. It's done. You gotta see it to believe it, folks. If a weight was on something that you loved more than anything, how much strength could you develop in that life and death situation to lift that object? It's incredible. The limiting factor is the mind. This film just leaves you cheering for the guy. Oh, no doubt about it. I, I cannot recommend this film enough. Yeah. It is, it's just, it's gripping. Uh, the pacing's fantastic. It's so, I mean, the character himself, you just, you're cheering for Yeah, her. very much so. I mean, so. as much as I was cheering for Ra Rocky Balboa in the first <laughs> one, you know, you're just like, I want this guy who's kind of a loser. You know, he's yeah. sad, he's lonely to accomplish this. Very strange feat. 
yeah, it's like he's trying to, again, find himself in this world where we're all trying to find ourselves, but he does it in such a unique way um, that you do. You find yourself going, yes, go Ben Steele, do <laughs> right. it. I mean, very excited yeah. for him. You know, and there, there are just so many wonderful scenes. He practices in his basement, uh, and he videotapes himself doing it, and they're very intimate scenes, and I think that's what actually, the subject is great, but it is such a professionally done film. The editing, the pacing, anytime that starts to get too sad, they bring in some humor. Anytime that it starts to get too serious, right. you know, they, they really know how to make a film. And that's what, what's great about this. This could have been this could have been a really weird, strange, awkward film, and instead it's so well done. It is just beautiful. I can't recommend it enough. Uh, one of the director's parents live here, family lives here, so he'll be in town. Oh, perfect. It's really worth getting out to see this film. Proud parents. Okay, so if you mm -hmm. want to see it, it is at McMinimins October 11th and at Regal Cinemas in the Old Mill October 12th. Thanks, Phil. Yeah, Appreciate it. Thank you. All right, my window will be right back. <laughs>